Hey everybody, it's me, and today we're going to be talking about Crash Bandicoot getting an announcement at the Game Awards. Now, the reason why I didn't make a video about this initially when the news dropped was because of just how sudden and very... Well, yeah, that's the best word I could... That's the best way to describe the situation. It was just too sudden for me, for one, and two... Given that the series has had so much ambiguous teases through posts or packages being sent to certain people that make videos on Crash Bandicoot, I just thought it was like really weird because of the fact that we didn't have an actual solid estimate of when we were going to get an announcement because every time it felt like something was getting close to an announcement happening, nothing happened. So I wanted to wait until we actually got something and I'm still technically waiting until we have something that we can actually see. Which will be at the Game Awards, I'm aware of that now. The thing that's interesting to me the most is the fact that this is going to be something entirely new for the most part. It's not going to be a platformer and it's not going to be a car racer. And the last time Crash Bandicoot did something different was all the way back in 2007 and 2008 with Titans and Mind of a Mutant. But the main reason why people didn't like those games is because of the character designs. So given that the character designs are going to be more than likely similar to what we got in Crash 4... Or just akin to the classic Crash Bandicoot, the one that is the more iconic uh, design of the character that's right next to Two Insanities, at least to me. Um, if the character design looks like that in this new project, in this beat em up, or whatever this community named project Wumpa League is going to be, I don't think it will be received uh, negatively, you know, if the character designs are like that. You know, not saying that I want character designs to be different. I'm just saying Crash Bandicoot has never been consistent in terms of character design outside of the three, uh, well, initial five games. Um, I almost forgot about Crash Bash because I don't know why. For some reason, that game is just, I don't remember that game that much. And I don't know why. I legit be forgetting that that game exists. But yeah, um, that's about all I could really say in regards to this. I just hope that this project whatever it is is just not trash because with the amount of ambiguous and inconsistent teases that we've gotten in regards to this project i just hope that it is worth it however i do have faith in toys for bob and b Knox. whoever is going to be behind it i understand that they have gone through a transitional period due to activision being acquired by microsoft or the uh IPs in particular being acquired by Microsoft. One of those two things I know for sure happened because I did a video on it at the time. However, my point stands. I just hope that what we get is good and I want the best for this franchise and stuff like that. As a final note, guys, I know that I have been pumping out a lot of content that is not related to Crash Bandicoot. However, I still like the series. But yeah, I'm going to see y'all later. I'm going to see y'all in December, on December 8th, because I think that's when the Game Awards take place. But either way, I'm going to catch it live, more than likely, and I'm going to react to what is to be revealed, and hopefully it is good. So yeah, you all take care, and be safe. I didn't forget about y'all, and I love y'all. Peace.